Alright, so first we're going to need a model. So jump over to BlendSwap. I found this model over here, link in the description below. Leave the creator a little bit of love. Go over to Blender and we're going to open that model. So this is the model over here. What we're going to do is select everything. Doesn't matter if you select the lights. Click export. FBX on the right hand side, we're just going to export the armature and the mesh. Geometry, we're going to change this to edge detect. And then under armature, we're just going to uncheck add leaf bone. I'm going to call this roach, export, jump over to Unreal, launch a new project. I'm going to select game, next, blank project. I'm going to call this animation, create the project. From here, we're just going to click Add Import, Import the Game, Navigate where you saved the model, and then we're going to click Import Animations and Import. Now, if you did everything as is, you will be getting this error. If you click OK, it will say multiple roots are found in the bone hierarchy. So, in order for us to fix that, we're going to jump back over to Blender. We're going to select the armature itself. We're going to go into Edit Mode. On the right here, we're going to put this into our outliner properties and then the first option here where it says armature you'll see if you tick it there's all the bones but what we're going to do is we are going to rename the main armature to a root same process as before we're going to jump into object mode select everything file export fbx Everything was already set up before, so we're just going to call this Roach2, click Export, jump over to Unreal, click Import, just wait for that one to load up, there we go, and then Import Animations, and click Import. So you see that the model will be available here, with all its animations, so we can drag the individual animations in, idle, we're going to call this sleep animation, just everything so that we can see what it looks like. It, we, if we hit play, see there are all the animations that you can use, but the model is still white, so what we've done before is if you open the material, you'll see that there is nothing here, so we're going to delete that white material, jump back over to Blender, click on File, External Data, going to uncheck that option and then just go back to external data and say unpack all files use current directory so if we click go back into unreal and we click import in that same directory the textures would have been made there's a slight variation here so we're just going to open them some of them might have the same name so we're just going to change the names quickly So let's just call this one Roach03 and then just quickly jump and import. Gonna drag all three of these into the material browser and then what we can do, that will be our color. This is a specular highlight so we're just gonna add that straight into there and this would be a normal map. Click save. And if all that is correct, done correctly, you'll see that your model has a texture. It will have a little bit of a specular highlight along with a normal map as well. All right, so that's everything for getting an animated model into Unreal. If you like what you saw, leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.